Now with the emergence of the so-called intelligent machines that pretty much work like humans, there's no denying that artificial intelligence or AI is the next big thing. But how does AI really work? And so to tell us more about this, we have with us in the studio Vince Lynch, and he's the CEO of 4.AI, the world's first AI agency. Good morning, Vince, and welcome to New Day, and welcome to the Philippines. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, nice to have you with us. So you're in the Philippines for how long? So I'm here for a few weeks. I'm here a lot. Um, we have a big office here that's uh, working with a lot of different businesses and um, this is kind of our jumping off spot for all of Asia um, and I love it here. So oh, okay. even early in the morning is still fun. It is always fun. So tell us more about um, IV.AI uh, and uh, you know a lot of people here in the Philippines actually associate maybe AI like with robots and with machines. Yeah. So what is the typical misconception when you say AI? So I think people don't know that they're using AI all the time, whether it's helping them find something to watch or find something to listen to or find clothing to purchase or something that they want to do on the internet. All of, a lot of it is driven by AI. So um, with us, we help companies use AI internally to help them engage with their customers. So it can help answer questions for the customers. So if, if you have a problem and you need to return something or uh, you're trying to check in for your flight but you can't remember where the flight is and you can't remember where the terminal is and you want to get in touch with somebody, it can do all that really quickly so the customer can get the information really fast and they can um, solve their problems. Time. They don't have to wait in line and they can do it on their phone and they can just do it on their voice really quickly and it um, solves the problem. And then also it's like, I want to purchase those shoes with the heel that's just like this and the, and the colors, I don't really know. Now, now you're talking shoes. my language. Keep that, going, tell, keep going, yeah. keep so going. Like, oh, what, this? <laughs> 12 inch stiletto? No, I don't know. Um, so it's, you can just describe what you're looking for and what you want and get it. Mm. As opposed to like looking through a long list and you're on your phone and the pictures are really small. Right, it's right. like, I want this thing now. And then the AI gets it for you. How did you get into AI? I mean, you mentioned earlier that you were into media for a while. And yeah, how it, did that kind of connect? It's kind of crazy. So I started on a morning show as well as it fell out of high school basically and ended up working at a radio station in Ottawa and Canada where I'm from and um, I was really lucky because I basically no education and I was I got a job and I was all I had to be was creative and I was pretty good at that and ended up my career went pretty well and ended up going to the UK for a job when I was 23 as a network producer and then to Virgin at 25 where I was a creative director and um, and I was really proud of myself I'm like this is amazing I've like figured out my life stuff and now I can just have fun and then my friend went to work at the startup and he's like, come over, I think you can help us as a consultant. And I went over and I looked at the name on the wall and I thought, that's a dumb name for a company. And then he showed me the product and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And that was Spotify. Oh, wow. And it was 2009. Okay. And I was blown away. I couldn't believe how they were doing the work of 100 people with no people and doing it really well. And, and, and like the fact that it was intuitive and one-to-one. -one. I love that about AI, is it can just help a person one-to-one, -one, um, whereas even if you have a thousand people, you can't help everybody. So as an, as an augmented helper, e even in the workforce now, it will, it will always be augmentation and helping people do their jobs better. It can, it can make the things work better, and then it makes the people have to do less mundane work. Okay, so AI seems to be the new buzzword, uh -huh. but with that, what are the dangers that come with AI? I mean, a lot of people, people as I said, want to jump in and, and get in on the bandwagon, but you know, what are the dangers that we do have to be aware of when it comes to AI? I mean, everything is out there. Robot overlords. You, you, that's scary, right? Yeah. You don't. Hey, is that really going to happen? <laughs> no, I know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, it could ha no, I don't. Um, I think that that's the fear, right? It's Hollywood is the fear. Is we get trained. Okay. It's really easy to make a show about AI and then make it drama. It's like the AI does this stuff and it takes over and it makes everything terrifying. Um, that's the that's the easy way um, to actually do that and make AI that can be that smart and be ubiquitous mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. like a machine or against a landscape or against a person is actually really, really hard, if not impossible. It's called general AI, which is like this concept of the AI just being able to know everything and be smarter than a person. It's not necessarily um, something that I can imagine happening certainly anytime mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. um, but it is something that you really need to be cautious of in relation to bias. So like as people, we know one of the biggest problems in our society today is that there's a lot of bias and mm -hmm. it's causing a lot of problems for everybody. 
So in AI, if you train the AI, it learns from human data. So if the people that are training it um, have a bias about the data that they think is accurate, and they make the AI, then the AI also has that bias. That's right. And then it amplifies the bias because it makes you afraid that, um, it, it, it makes you think that the bias is accurate when actually it's a problem with the training of the AI. Okay. So it's, it, it's a important thing that people should take into account is like check themselves. I mean, it's a powerful tool in the wrong hands. Yeah. I mean, it can be totally dangerous. Yeah, exactly. But um, so I want to touch on the future of AI. Where is this actually headed um, in terms of like maybe the BPO, I mean, the call centers. And a lot of people are maybe have fear of losing their jobs because these AIs can, can do maybe a better job. And what differentiates us from the AI in terms of doing business? I don't think the AIs can do a better job. Okay, I, I, think, like I think people are amazing. Like we are incredible. We can solve problems. We can think on our feet. We can be creative. We can connect mm -hmm. with other people. AI is not very Can't good at connect. connecting. And um, the good thing about AI in relation to the workflow, especially in the Philippines, is it takes away those mundane repetitive things. So if you're at your work and you're working in a call center and you're answering the same question over and over again and you're getting the information, sorry, I need your account number. No, honestly, I need your account number. Please <laughs> give, give me, <laughs> please. So that one will we'll put the AI the, there. The AI okay. takes care of that. And so when, when the, the question needs to go to a person, all that stuff is done. And then the system or the business understands what the customer, who the customer is and what they need. Mm -hmm. And then the person goes like, let's solve your problem. Let's like actually get down to the root of it and then let's connect so that the relationship between the company and the customer is stronger. So there's more human interaction. So you get rid of all the nitty gritty um, question and answer and yeah. then I'll take care of you. After exactly. That. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us. All the best to you for being with us here on CNN in, in New Day. Thanks and for I having wish me. you have a, a lovely stay here in the Philippines. Thanks so much. And once again, this is Vince Lynch of Ivy.ai with us here in the studio.